as much as I don't want to become the dipshit whisperer, I think it's on us as a society to try and herd out the QAnons of the world out of their cult. Um, I, I know. It, 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 it's a monolithic feat, okay? I'm not saying this would be an easy task at all. But I actually had a decent conversation with someone this morning who is pure QAnon. And I, and I told them uh, that the FBI has deemed them a domestic terrorist threat. And he was really surprised by it. He was really, like, shocked uh, and shook by it. He had no idea, because obviously these people live in, in, in a fake news rabbit hole. They're not going to get any objective information uh, by listening to Fox News all day and Alex Jones and QAnon and, and just whatever random Twitter source. Uh, so he was really shocked by that. And we also had to talk about mental health, how there's a big mental health element. Uh, I talked about genuinely getting mental health care. Um, you see, and, and, and like anybody with, with this amount of paranoid delusion, paranoid delusional behavior ha likely has a base plate of poor mental health. That's a safe bet. That's a bet I'm making every day, okay? And I'm not judging here. Uh, I have mental health issues. I take care of them. I have uh, mental health disorders. I go see a psychiatrist. I see a therapist. I have medications. I practice healthy lifestyle choices, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So I I'm trying to share that wealth of knowledge I've accumulated too, how this is like, this is this is this is mentally unhealthy uh, territory. This QAnon stuff, and how it's just it's just flat out silly. Like this whole adrenochrome thing. That's a line from a 1998 movie called Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Whoever the QAnon guy is or people, they literally snag that line from Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Uh, there's a scene where there's an experimental drug he's doing in his hotel room called Adrenochrome. And it's just like, as soon as I heard that in the QAnon zeitgeist, I was like, oh my God, they totally just ripped that from Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. This is like the laziest people shedding conspiracy, conspiracy theories that were created out of fake Hollywood movies. Like, it, 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 it's... It's comical, but once again, these people are believing it. They, they they live it like a religion, like they don't know. They simply don't know how far down in the rabbit hole they are right now. They, they don't understand they're in a fake news bubble. They don't know. They don't care. They're not aware. I don't know, but they're down in there, and, you know, I have to dig hard and just say, like, listen... Let me help you get out of this rabbit hole because th this is literal insanity. What is happening with QAnon? Um, I mean, obviously, there's a horrible domestic terror threat where they're actually m uh, doing physical threats on politicians, on their families, on, on people in general. Like, there's a genuine domestic threat there. But just to see so many of them in poor mental health uh, and believing fake, like like <laughs> just just n nonsense that you know a Hollywood director made up. Like this is like that's so scary and so depressing. Like it just hits me on all fronts. And I think we do have an obliga obligation as a society to try to help these people. Um, like when I worked in mental health, a lot of these people remind me of the people I worked with in mental health. They had really poor mental health care. They had uh, you know poor lifestyles. Uh, they didn't take medication. They didn't see therapists. They didn't see doctors. Um, you know, and they suffered. They suffered a lot. And I see a lot of people who are suffering. I don't know about you, but Yes, these people can be very annoying. Yes, these people can be literally insane. But I see people on a level who are just suffering. 
okay? They're suffering misinformation. They're suffering with mental health care, uh, or the lack thereof. And, you know, I was just taken aback by, by that conversation I had this morning that I actually broke through. And I was like, okay, maybe there's a foothold we can get here with some of them, you know? So the next time you, you, you want to lay into a QAnon supporter, try to lean in with compassion, and if you have experience with mental health uh, or, or anything I've talked about, talk from that point. Um, just don't relay their, their illusions, delusions back at them or make fun of them. That's too easy. Um, it, 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 I really figured out that we have to try to help these people on some level. Just encourage them. Herd them out of this fake news rabbit hole. So that's my Christmas miracle. <laughs> Uh, but I think it's possible. So, I don't know. Give me your thoughts about this down in the comments. I hope you have a uh, Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday. And I will talk to you down in the comments.